Dave, join us on our Animal Kingdom adventure today. It's beautiful weather, the sun is shining, and we're gonna show you guys all around. Let's go. Check it out guys, they got the 2021 Disney merch in the full effect over here. I love that jacket. That is pretty awesome. Simba is a popcorn bucket. <laughs> How cool is this guys? Is this literally the coolest popcorn bucket you have ever seen at Disney World? I thought the Christmas tree one was really cool. And then we saw this. And I could tell how much Lisa wanted this little <laughs> baby lion. So we might, we might have to start collecting in the popcorn buckets. And you know, FYI guys, these things are refillable. They're only $2 to refill. You can take them to any of the Disney parks and they will refill them for $2. So I think, oh, look at this. I know, I just got we, we have. Kinda... Oh my gosh, we have friends coming out of the woodwork here. What's this? What's? Oh, oh my. Oh. Is that, is that true? Look at what we have coming this way. What you got there? Simba. <laughs> I just wanted to point out, guys, the landscaping here is so amazing. Look at this scenery. Very relaxing. Like, this is definitely one of the most relaxing parts, in my opinion. Every park has its own appeal. But there's just something about Animal Kingdom that is just so serene. Okay, guys, we are currently headed over to Africa. Right now, we're in Asia. Africa is definitely one of my favorite lands here at Animal Kingdom. And the reason for that is because that is where the safari ride is and that is my absolute favorite ride here so we're headed over there we're gonna go get on the safari and we're taking you with us i hope you guys are ready to buckle up your seat belts because it is a wild ride all right guys we are currently in the back of the safari vehicle we are getting ready to take off on our safari in just a couple minutes so here we go it's gonna be a wild ride we got little simba here with us check him out he is ready to go he wants to go see his his cousins i'm pretty sure they have a couple lions out here so you never know we might get lucky sometimes they're pretty elusive but we might see them so you're in for a treat this is my favorite ride here at animal kingdom these are all the animals that we may see today guys Alrighty, you found his animal warden thanks so much as we stay here in harambe to one day that means let's go here we go Oy. Yeah, we're ready. All righty, my friends. Now we should be heading on into the Harambe Whoa. Reserve in just a moment. We're going to wait for that oh, other truck to get further up. So we're not feeling it quite <laughs> We didn't even leave the, the queue. Um, like I said, though, they like to spend most of their time in the river, but they will hop out onto the banks from time to time to graze, sunbathe, and even nap. And they look really calm, really easy going down there, but they are considered one of Africa's most dangerous animals. They're, these Nile crocodiles are definitely on the larger side of things. They're going to range between 16 and 20 feet length. So they're about the same length as a giraffe is tall. And you might notice a couple of them with their mouths propped open. They're not waiting for food or for us to fall in. That's just a great way for these guys to regulate their body temperature. So giraffes are going to bring down the trees when they eat. Elephants will knock over those same trees when they're out here looking for food. And then I have stock species like wildebeest or antelope essentially mow these grasses down when they graze. And that way they're all kind of working together to create this really unique ecosystem. Giraffes will devote about 16 to 20 hours of their day to just eating or searching for food. So you will literally almost always catch them trying to grab a quick bite. Uh, we'll come up right beside these zebras here all lined up in a row for us. Well, their stripes are pretty fantastic to us, but they do work as a form of camouflage for them when they're together in larger herds. It can really make it difficult for predators to tell where one zebra ends and one begins. What's Simba doing? And it seems we'll also be weaving past a few more baobab trees <laughs> out here. Again, these massive Where's trees that look lions? almost upside down. We're almost there, buddy. It allows them to conserve thousands of gallons of water, which will store in their huge trunks. And many of the animals that live out here, they can poke holes in these trunks or peel away the bark for a quick drink between watering holes. Also giving the baobab the nickname, the tree of life. So lots of different names these trees will go by, that's for sure. And all the way through this water 
here while there's no immediate visitors to this watering hole just on the other side we have managed to stumble upon a flamboyance in the pool to our left hand side here a flamboyance of greater flamingos that is these will be the tallest and the lightest pink of all flamingo species and they're hatched gray and fuzzy so they do get the color that we're seeing over time from a diet of shrimp and other crustaceans those crustaceans are filled with a substance called beta carotene that'll turn those feathers that pink we know and love so much and if you look closely here you might notice a few of the younger ones still hanging out in the mix they look almost full grown they still got that whole white gray thing going on though it is going to take them about a year to a year and a half to get their full-on pink tint but not seeing a ton of larger herds grazing out this way that can sometimes mean those large herds are weary of coming this direction when looking for food i think i do see a couple more sleepy kitties there on our left and these ladies have pretty good reason to peck around this area here there is a small cluster of their eggs off to our right hand side just like chickens they intermittently lay those not surprising given the size of the bird that has laid them but each egg there is going to be about three pounds a piece and not only are they super heavy they're also super durable so you or i could really stand on top of one of those they wouldn't crack or break getting a little bumpy back <laughs> We're coming up on one of our warden's posts. That does mean that we're drawn a bit closer <laughs> to the village. Oh my God. And as we see draw closer seat. to the village, yeah. friends, unfortunately, that does mean that our journey together hey, is drawing hey, hey, this close. But I really do hope you guys got to see some of your favorite animals out there. And maybe you can learn about the new ones as well and enjoy the reserve. Guys, that was an amazing safari. One thing I want to point out about that is because it's live animals, every single safari ride that you go on is going to be a different experience. You could literally go on that ride every 10 minutes and it would be a completely different experience. It was a lot of fun today. I was just a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to see our elephant and rhino friends. Other than that though, I mean, we got to see the hippos. They're generally very elusive. We got to see the lions. They were asleep, but we got to see them. Like a lot of times you'll go through there and you won't even get to see them at all. So, you know, I mean, that was pretty cool. So right now we are headed onto a walking trail. This is called Gorilla Falls. And of course there are gorillas, but there are a lot of other cool animals and we're gonna take you along. So let's go check them out. Here we go. Look how colorful his head is, guys. Isn't he awesome? Beautiful. I'm pretty sure these are called African cichlids. I'm not 100%, but I believe so. The water is so pristine. Oh, look at these little ducks. They're so cute. I'm not sure what this guy is over here, but he's pretty cool looking too. Taking a slumber. How cool is this guy? Going up to get some air. Look at that face. He's so cute. Just want to point out that his sheer size, half of his back is sticking up out of the water, so it just goes to show how big these guys are. They are massive. And actually, they're considered one of the most dangerous animals in the world. Okay guys, we are currently in Gorilla Falls and we have spotted some gorillas. Look how this guy's just sitting here like he's deep in thought. And there's another one up here. Right there behind those large rocks. Boulders, I guess. He looks like he's in pretty deep thought too. Not sure what's exactly happening between these two. This looks like a standoff a little bit though. Not really sure, unless they're disrespecting each other's space. Which is possible. The 
So we were just informed that these, there are actually two up here. These are both six year old male gorillas. So this is the dominant male here. His name is Gino, he's up in the tree. <laughs> Grabbing himself some leaves for snackage. That is awesome. I don't know that I've ever seen a gorilla in a tree before. That's so cool. So guys, this is the bridge heading into Harambe. And it is such a beautiful view of Everest. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. How gorgeous is that? Look at the clouds. Seriously picture perfect. It doesn't get much better than that. We are currently headed to Pandora, which is Avatar Land. And this place is really awesome. We're gonna go see if we can get on the Navi River journey. And then we're gonna grab some dinner. So we're gonna take you guys with us every step of the way. And um, it's been an awesome day. It went by way too fast. We got here kind of late, so you know, that was our bad, but <laughs> we didn't get checked in until pretty late last night, so we were kind of exhausted. This is our queue headed into Navi River journey. This is so exciting. We love, love, love this ride. Look how cool the scenery is in here. I mean, Disney knows how to make a queue fun. Look at this waterfall. That is awesome. Oh, it's getting creepy in here, guys. It's getting dark. Oh, wow. Okay, we're headed in. Your mask is blowing it is? under the black light. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. All right, here we go. Isn't it romantic? <laughs> Guys, check out the leaves up here. You can see these giant frogs jumping around on the leaves. Look at this. This is another one of our favorite rides. We really do love this ride. There we go, we're closer now, we can see them better. Look how awesome that is. It even sounds like they're jumping. Listen to the sound effects. It's just such a relaxing ride. And it smells really good in here. Let's 
flashing. Check these out, they look like giant jellyfish. our mobile order here at the Satoli Canteen and we are getting ready to go pick up our food in just a couple minutes so we're gonna share that with you guys this is exciting we've never eaten here before I've seen a lot of videos of people that have the food looks really interesting that was one of the reasons we decided to uh, it's kind of like an appetizer we, we may actually end up going somewhere else for dinner but we're gonna just share the um, the bell buns it's got cheeseburger filling inside and we're gonna try one of the desserts the chocolate cake looks really interesting I, I love the way they played everything. what Jen found to eat. This is really nice in here. Look at this yumminess, guys. That looks so good. These are full of pods? Um, I'll double check. Okay. I think they're called cheeseburger pods. All right. So let's go find us a nice Let's see what, the, what they um, taste like. Follow the pod trail. <laughs> This is really awesome in here. So avatarish.
Jen has found some very delicious food in Avatar Land. These are called cheeseburger pods. Sounds very Avatarish. So we're gonna check these out. What's this? And for dessert, this is chocolate cake. I like the way they do chocolate cake in Pandora. Wow. So we're, we haven't tried it yet, obviously, guys, but uh, we're looking forward to sinking our teeth into this deliciousness. <laughs> nope. And then we then do you become an avatar after you eat this? That's the question. It's possible. It's possible. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll to see us what happens once we consume this deliciousness. <laughs> but I have a feeling it might be something very interesting. Here we are. I feel like I'm in like a Star Trek movie. Uh, I'm gonna have to get Lisa to try hers and get her honest opinion. She isn't as food adventurous as I am, <laughs> generally speaking. So let's see what she thinks. Is it spicy? No. No, I think the chips, in my opinion, are spicier. Because they're spicy. Okay. This is not. This tastes more like. It tastes like if you had a hamburger on a roll with ketchup and mustard and pickles. But it's and, all inside this pod. And what's the pod? Like a dough? Like yeah. a, okay. Mm -hmm. We're doing a food reaction with Lisa. I'm prepared. I don't know if we'll be able to see her reaction with her hat on, though. There we go. Tip it back. I'm tipping the hat, please. Mm. You know what it reminds me of? Meatloaf. Yeah, kind of. Or maybe like a sloppy joe. Something. Tomato is sloppy yeah. joe. But don't you taste a hint of mustard? Yes. And pickles? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. I like it. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. The closest thing I'd say is meatloaf with a, you know. I would definitely get it again. Yeah. So we have come to the most sweet part of our meal here, or snackage, whatever you want to call it. Lisa is going to get the first bite. She is digging into. I'm trying to figure out if this is some kind of a. Take a bite and see. <laughs> here we go. Oh my goodness. Let me, let me get a close up here. What's it look? Is it moose? Looks like a moose. Ooh. Ooh, that looks really good. All right, here we go. All right. Mmm. Yeah. Like chocolate. You'll love this. Mmm. It always tastes like the really good, um, what's that called? Ganache type chocolate? Really? Very good. It doesn't taste like, you know, I think I got it on my hands. Like that's the oh, real, that's so that's the real deal right there, huh? Mmm. That's definitely a, a rich chocolate versus like a pudding or something. That's very, very good. So definitely a dessert that you could share, guys. Yes. You know, when it's super rich like that, yes. that's good because yes. that means you can spread it out. I don't know what this is. Uh-oh. Make sure you save a little bit for me so I can I try it. I don't know what that is. It's good. Look at her going in on everything. Hi, Jen. Wow. I guess <laughs> I guess it's only fair since I always am scaring her. Yes. She's going to eat that whole dessert. Watch this. That's all for now. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. I'll save you some. So, guys, we figured while we were in Pandora, we would show you around the shop a little bit. They got some really cool stuff in here. I love the colors, all the blues. Look at these guys. Aren't they cute? You can wear them on your shoulder. I imagine they uh, probably hold on with a magnet. So this is awesome. They have their own masks, their own Pandora masks here. This is really cool. Looks just like the Navi River Journey. This one just uh, says Pandora on it and it has the, uh, the landscaping, pretty cool. That is awesome. Makes you just look like an avatar. And the one on the bottom is pretty cool. It's just like the adventure patches. So cool. I bet Lisa did not see these. They even have an area where you can sit here and have an avatar made of your likeness. This is what it looks like. I guess you just come over here and they looks like they scan your face there. They may not be doing it now because of COVID, but I think that is really cool. Definitely a blue theme going on here. <laughs> Here's some wings. I think kids put these on and it has like a little uh, thing to put it on their back and they light up. Of course, these little light up gizmos. These are cool. They're called wood sprites. Stuffed 
cute little cuddlies. There's an avatar. Oh, Pandora hat. Those are cool. Backpack. Adventure items, accessories. These are cool. It's like a little. Um, I show you the guys these. A lot of kids like these. It's like a little strap on the back, harness, and they light up. And they look like this. Pretty cool. Some mugs. These are cool. Turn around. Here. That's cool. I don't know how much they are here. Uh, $14.99. And then there's like a thermos. These are nice. $22.99. These hats are $27.99. Oh, these are pretty. Little avatar ornaments. They are so ornaments. $20 each when you buy three. Regularly $22 to $24 for $5. It's a way to do it because then you don't have to worry about coins. You just put in paper them all at once. All eight. It's a nice jacket. This one is... A fleece jacket. How much that is? There we go. I just have to dig for the prices around here. Ooh, $59.99. They look cool. Clothes. Is this awesome or what, guys? Seriously, I'm so tempted to get this thing. It just lights up when you turn it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very cool. Ready? Wow, it's orange. It was blue. How'd you do yeah, it? Yeah, what's up with that? Wait, do it again. Let's try again. Maybe it's my aura. Maybe. Green. Maybe it depends on the speed that you do it. Try again. Nope. Blue, green, orange. I feel like a uh, rumble. Blue. Maybe it just keeps changing colors. It's an avatar mystery. Bow and arrow with suction cups. Isn't that cool? So, what part of it lights up? I don't know if this one lights up. I think. I thought it did. No, I think oh, this one does. This is the light up. Oh, that one's the cool one. That is cool. I like this. I like the light up stuff. I mean, yeah, me too. It's interactive. For only twenty nine ninety nine. But everything's on sale right now. All the glow oh, items yeah. up here. Look. Glow items regularly twelve ten dollars and fifteen for something else. Sounds oh. like somebody got one of my drums. It's coming from outside of the store. I scared Lisa a couple minutes ago. She was playing with one of these dragons over here. No. And I said, ma'am, please don't handle the merchandise. And she thought it was somebody that worked here. Yeah, in trouble. She thought a cast member was trying to intervene. Is that nice? Yeah. This is a deal, huh? Awesome. This is Pandora at night. And this is the first time we've been here at night. And it's a really cool effect here, how they make everything glow in the dark at night. This is the waterfall. Here's Jen. Okay. Say hey, Jen. Hey She's checking it out here. And they have the weird um, avatar animal noises you can hear in the background. So we're going to go down this path. This is really awesome. Hands glow. It's almost like a ride, but it's on the uh, walking path. So beautiful. I definitely would recommend this in the nighttime if you get over here at Animal Kingdom. Oh, they're still open. I might have to investigate. This is the Island Mercantile Shop. I just want to show you guys. Oh, look at those cool mugs. Oh my gosh. Let me see if these are. $22.99. Animal Kingdom. Oh, like the Tree of Life? That's what that is. Very pretty.
I love this shirt. We saw this earlier. This is wow, $44.99. Lion King. Oh, type style. I love that Kuma Tata. A Kuma Matata shirt. That is adorable. Get that backpack. It's Safari Mini. Aw, the little tiki birds. So we're currently in Island Mercantile. I just wanted to share this with you guys real quick. This is the first I've seen this. They have a whole clothing line called Mickey and Company now, and it's made from 50% recycled fiber from the plastic bottles, which they collect at Disney Park. So I think that's really cool. And you know, definitely if you get the chance, be sure to support that movement. That's an awesome, awesome thing. And it is awesome for our planet. Here's a couple more of the different designs that they have with the Mickey and Company. I do like that Donald shirt too. That is really cool, but it's very red. So I usually don't, I usually don't wear super bright colors, but here I do like the Mickey one. Also, if only the if only the Donald one was on black, I would be all over that one. I love this store. They have some of the coolest decor outside. This is the same one that Lisa was showing you guys the lanterns of the animals. So we are headed out of the park, guys, and this is what it currently looks like. There was hardly anybody left in the park. We kind of shut them down tonight. That is just our style. We love to shut down the Disney parks because I love it when there's nobody around. It's awesome. It's almost like having the park to yourself. Going through the cave all by ourselves. I think we'll be all right though. I think we got this. So these guys are getting ready to go to sleep. Good night guys. Rest up for your fun, exciting Disney day tomorrow. These guys are so lucky. They get to have a Disney day every day. Good night. So we lucked out guys. They still have the Christmas tree in front of the park. So there it is. Physical distancing. Thank you for your cooperation. Maybe. All right guys, so we had an amazing day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So much to do here and I feel like, you know, we probably only did not even half of what there is to do here because we got here late, but we still had a blast. And like I said, uh, the safari is our absolute, my absolute favorite. What about yours? That was a really good day. Is that your favorite ride here? I don't know. I, I love the Avatar ride, the boat ride. Okay. Navi River. Yeah, and I, I can see that. Like, I love that ride too. So honestly, you know, we did our most favorite things here. We'll have to come back again soon. We, we probably won't be able to this trip, but we'll be back soon. Uh, but we're gonna try to take you guys to Hollywood Studios next. So, uh, and there's still a Magic Kingdom day coming your way. So we hope you had as much fun as we did and we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure. <laughs>